Okay, we're going to take a look at the CY12C oxygen analyzer. Let's go through the parts first. This is the meter. It's connected by a little cord here to the sensor, which is clipped to the top of the system right now. It doesn't have to be. Off of the sensor, you see two hoses. The first hose goes to this pointed filter. That's a particle, particle filter, so things don't get into the unit and jam it up. The other thing here is a bulb connected to the sensor, and that allows you to suck in gas if the gas next to the analyzer is passive. Otherwise, you don't need that, and you can just take it off right here, take off the uh, tubing entirely. So the first thing you do, put in the battery in the back. It's a 9-volt nine tra transistor battery. And then we're going to switch this to 50. That's actually 50%. And we're going to let it stabilize for a while. Now you'll see the numbers go down in this particular case. It should go down to 21. Why is that? Because what's in here now is room air. And room air is, in theory at least, 21%. You'll see it go down to 21, ideally, because room air is 21% oxygen. On the other hand, if it doesn't, you have a little calibration dial here. So I'm going to adjust that slightly and see if we can make that read 21 as opposed to 20.8, 20.9, 20.7. So just turn that nice and slowly until you achieve the correct reading. Once you've got that, then you're ready to take your readings after the unit's been stabilized for a few minutes. So go ahead and turn it to 100 if you're going to be reading an oxygen bottle like for medical oxygen. Otherwise, you might want to just leave it set at 50. For very low concentrations, you can even set it to the 5 reading. But most of the time, 50 is quite sufficient. And uh, then if you're going to be taking gas out of a cylinder, remember not to jam that uh, filter into the valve of the cylinder. Just crack the cylinder slightly, let the gas flow gently, put the, sense, the uh, filter near the uh, opening of the valve and let it gently receive the oxygen. Don't have it blasting into your unit. And then you'll get your reading and uh, make sure not to jam this, the point of your filter into the valve itself. Other than that, remember to turn the, the unit off when you're done. That's about it.